As Scampi and Bridie approach the flagged area, they receive another call out. Yeah, apparently it's DK called it in, two surfers and on a right hand break. Oh, actually, that might be them out there closer to Manor Bay. Oh, yeah, over there. At Raglan, the surf is pumping. And as the extraordinary high tide claims the beach, most will be in the water today. Patrol Captain Sharpie keeps watch in the tower. Um, so we had quite a big tide and quite a lot of swell this morning. So at high tide, we actually had our uh, flags up on the dunes, which isn't that common for Adelaide. It's gnarly. Um, it's just big surf, lots of water moving. Um, we're closer to the low now, so there's a lot of water draining out too. Um, it's fast, it's unpredictable, so we're just trying to keep up. Aubrey and Emma keep their eyes on the water non-stop. Going in the water? No, I'm just watching those people. As soon as they take their feet off the ground, they're just hauling north. It gives me heart palpitations. What are you going to do if they do go? If they go, well, I'm going to try and stop them before they go. <laughs> That's number one priority, but if they do go, yep, I'm getting in the water. It's mid-afternoon. A kite surfer needs urgent assistance at the river mouth. The Scampi and Bridie are going to respond to a kite surfer on the bar. They're looking uh, all right. They're just staying up on tower then. They're just yeah, not so moving anywhere. Here. Here so they're going to go launch down in the harbour mouth. The bar is in reference to the turbulent area in front of the harbour out at sea. Scampi drives the quad bike to the river mouth. He just can't, it doesn't really get back in and he's going out with the tidal flow. Uh, can you drag it? Scampi and Bridie reach the river mouth and launch the IRB, their eyes still on the kite border. The IRB has to manoeuvre round the bar carefully as there's a large sandbank which blocks direct access to the border. Oh, he's on one of those boards. As Scampi approaches the kite surfer, they notice he's on the new big thing in kite surfing culture, a hydrofoil. Are you um, you quite confident you can get back to shore? We're in the middle of the outgoing tide at the moment. This is an island. You want to cross another channel yet? Like, um, what's your ability? You're pretty good with kites. I mean, you've got a hydrofoil yeah. board, so... You want to self-rescue? Yeah, then I would just want to drift down there. Okay, how fast can you get in like that? Pretty quick? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep, right. we can do that, totally. A hydrofoil board is a kite board with a hydrofoil that extends below the board into the water. This design causes the board to leave the surface of the water at various speeds. But it's not ideal in all conditions. Where should I meet you down there? Yeah, just down by those rocks. Just wherever. We've got a vehicle, so um, we'll come find you when you get to shore. Aubrey from IRB. Um, he's quite happy to sell for you. We've got a $2,300 hydrofoil board. Probably half the resin is struggling. We're going to take that back for him and just meet him on the shore. As you can see, he's doing pretty well. Yeah, sounds good. Scampi takes the hydro board while the surfer's body drags back with his kite. That looks way more fun than this. Bar is there. It's a typical hydrofoil. Oh, it's a low aspect ratio foil, so it's something for beginners. I just started on it, so yeah, it's actually my first day trying to learn something new. <laughs> yeah. Do you normally type board? Yeah, I've been riding for six years. Yeah. Six years on the twin tip, maybe three years on the directional board. And now started on that one. What's the bike? It's pretty cool, but it's hard to go downwind. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you guys. Thanks a lot that you picked me up there. That was good. I will stay there for the rest of the day, I guess. <laughs> yeah.
Kite surfing is not a cheap hobby. This guy did not want to let go, despite it keeping himself from being able to self-rescue. No, I was just bad horse set up. How you can see the boar with a foil? It's like 2,300. Yeah, just the boar with a foil. This is another two and a half grand for kite. <laughs> you know, he wasn't in any real trouble. He could self-rescue himself. He just couldn't get his massive hydrofoil board back. So much drag and first time using it. Awesome day to pick. And uh, reckons he can't go downwind too well with it. Once we took the board off him, he, um, you know, he made it back to land just as quickly as we did. So good, good day to him. As Scampi and Bridie approach the flagged area, they receive another call out. Yeah, apparently it's DK called it in two surfers and on a right hand break. Oh, actually, that might be them out there closer to Manu Bay. Manu Bay, another popular surf spot, is the next bay to the south of Raglan's main beach. Yeah, do you want to actually start heading that way? Um, I just got DK's cell phone, so I'm just going to give him a call. OK, did that come through a surf call? No, it just pulled a steam call straight from the place. Oh, badass. OK, we'll launch a boat and start heading another. Got three of them. I think we're the surfers going out to help them. Because one of them just ran down the boat ramp. And so we got a call from one of the local surfers um, called the police. We called us that two surfers had been stuck out in the rip for about half an hour and not making any progress. Obviously, a good kilometre off the beach here. So he would have been at Manu Bay looking uh, directly across to the back uh, break on the beach. Two surfers. He didn't know if they were in distress. But, um, come through from police so we'll launch a boat. First we'll try and find two surfers and then uh, just have a quick yarn and see how they go. Yep, um, the report was just that they've been in a rip for 30 minutes and haven't made any progress. I see. Scampi and Bridie prepare for another launch. They head towards Manu Bay where the original informant is on the rocks near the boat ramp. He has eyes on the surfers in question. IRB, IRB from base. Just a heads up, they are at the southern end of Hatton Bay now, kind of between the southern end of the boat ramp. Uh, okay, call me first from your current location and pick up to the boat ramp, up to the boat ramp. Uh, keep heading south, keep heading south, way south. Oh, yeah. We think we spotted them a couple of ways in towards kind of um, Half Moon Bay. Straight out over there? In the bay? Okay. The beach. Lifeguard Aubrey directs the IRB crew who still have no visual. Um, kind of off the north end of Manu Bay. He is in a rip. Um, just go out from your location, head about 200 metres north, maybe. You want to ride, bro? You want to take your leg rope off? Take your leg rope off. Actually, the boys, she'll take care of you. Scampi can't see very far beyond their position as the relentless surf blocks the lifeguard's view. Then they spot the other surfer further out in the rip. I'll hold your board. I'll get your board on the way back. Sorry, we'll get <laughs> Quite a bit, so 
They're just going to go empty out the two, empty out the two they've picked up, and then um, yeah, head out and try and find this guy. More information from the guys standing on the rocks. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Okay, so we're going to go back to the car and we're going to Finally, the guards spot the third surfer. Take your leg rope off. There's a wave line, I think. Top end, we'll grab your board the second time around. Top end, we'll grab your board. Woo! Yeah, it's pretty gnarly over there. Money Bay Express is uh, definitely warning, doing its thing. Sounds like something got some good waves. It just took them right out to the channel and uh, into the Money Bay Express. I just couldn't make their way back across it. It's kind of closed out a bit of an angle, so unless you really know what you're paddling against, um, you're probably never going to paddle in the right direction. You know? always want to paddle across the current rather than against it, but it flies out on such an angle that, yeah, unless you know it, you're sort of really aware. And with the surfers safe, 